This video illustrates the use of scheduler in Moodle. For that purpose, go to your online course and then click Tron Editing 1 and go to a new block where you can write, for example, Viva Schedule. This Viva Schedule is a course block where you can add an activity or resource. Go to Add an activity or resource where uh, you can use the scheduler if the scheduler is not available in the list of activity then talk to your Moodle admin in your institution so that they can install this scheduler plugin in the system and then that will be available for teachers to use and then you can click on scheduler and add the scheduler give a name for this for example book a time slot for viva and write the introduction of this special event and you can write something your students and then you can make some points to make something better and clear to the students about this and then go to the options in the options role renaming of teacher teacher is the facilitator facilitator for the appointment and more students can register one appointment uh, at a time the same way booking group is no guard time is about blocking student to change the schedule within a specific period of time for that purpose let's make a three days time period within this time frame students cannot change their scheduled booked schedule However, uh, the rest they, they do have an option and default duration 15 minute notification sure yes and then use the note for appointment can be visible to students or can be confidential and invisible to the students so this is all about appointment notes and go to the grade where grade can be set as a points and then can be appropriate for example 25 percent of total assessment for this viva and then if you do have uh, some kind of options to set here grade category grade to pass grading strategies then you can make appropriate changes over here if not simply go to the booking form booking form is important if you are uh, assessing a students report in this presentation then or some or your viva is related to some kind of study reports then they can submit that and give an instruction over here again uh, dear student and then make a point wise uh, information over here and then go to this setting this setting is about students they write some text message after reading this or their agreement or disagreement over here it will activate a writing box to students and then if you are aligning the appointment or the viva uh, with their submissions then ask them to submit their files maybe one file or two file file of presentation or report before they book the appointment so to activate that you need to check this option and then file limit also can be set accordingly that's all about major settings now further optional settings it's up to you you can explore them as well and simply save and display now this is displayed over here and all the students enrolled in the course will be listed over here and you can also make individual schedule in this list if 
not if you would like to make time slots and a group all at, at a time or if you want to allow a student to select the slots if you want to provide slot selection options then go to the add slots and then add repeated slot or a single slot it depends on you but more repeated slot would be uh, nice so for this purpose you go to the system okay for example 25 july july 2 until uh, 25 26 or 27 let's make a three days gap over here three days yes and this is july yes 25 to 27 july and the slots will be taken from this day monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and even sunday within these dates if 25 to 27 these dates fall otherwise you can check your calendar and you can see the calendar shows here 25 is on saturday and 26 uh, it's uh, sunday and monday so you can only select uh, sunday and monday because one day is saturday and this 25 july is saturday so you can change it or you can make it from 20 20 to 27 and in any day it's up to you right so please choose appropriate date and then the days and after that the time it will be from 10 o'clock to for example 12 o'clock and the divide slots yes duration five and break in between maybe five minutes and then force overlap no that is fine and maximum number of student in slot one that is already fine and location yes this can be a good idea to provide online meeting links for example i am going to give a meeting link from google meet and this will be a meeting link for the students that's a location or you can specify if you are taking offline interviews or viva then you can state the address of your block or your department and then display slots to students from when and you can set the date how many days before and or you can start it from right now that's fine an email reminder yes you can uh, ask the system to remind appointments one day before the slots or two days so it's up to you uh, normally one day before would be ideal and then save changes that's all appointments are scheduled you can see monday tuesday and wednesday so those all ranges are defined and you can also check here the 10 10 minutes a uh, 15 minutes time gap as we indicated already and then five minute break and it, it starts again 10 20 this how now here you can make changes either delete or make some changes in individual time slots or you also can select some time slots and then delete the slot the selected slots or all slots or on use slots so this is what all about deleting the slots and this is also further you can add if these slots are not enough then you can also add slots and the slots available here are in two pages again there is another page and you can check over the next page because we have given seven days time slot that's i think too long you can even create a slot for only one day and two days or three days it's up to your requirements and now you can go to the same invitation if you would like to notify this to your students then simply right here uh, you can also be notified yourself and re uh, recipients will be online education support admin or some other admins will also be there mm, and but here only one person is there so it's it's given this way and now you can write 
or add some more text over the message body the link is already created one for you and then send message also after this some of the students if they are not yet booked then it will be listed over here the students list comes over there and we will see that later and if there are some students left to book the appointment you can send again the remainder to them for booking again and now let's see how it looks for a teacher or for a student for teachers simply you can see the survivor schedule and then when it clicked then it is visible this way it's a teacher's view and when you go for the role switching and then students view then you can see how it looks like for a student so students get these time slots and they they also get off they also get an icon to click a button to click and to book a slot students get a button to click the slot and they can click it and they, they can read the message and they can see everything date time and then they also can see booking instruction so this is all about the slot that is introduction and this is instruction for booking if we need to make some instruction about they need to write here message or they need to upload the file so everything should be clearly mentioned over there and then uh, a file can be uploaded over there uh, for example this is a file and it can be uploaded here and then they can write as i agree or something and confirm booking so this is the student's view the student can confirm their booking and let's change the uh, role and see this is teacher's role now you can see this time slot is booked by this student and we can make some changes if we so this is how this is possible or if you click here then you also can see the students all information or personal profile or if you want to make some changes then click over here or if you want to revoke the appointment then they, that option is also available that's all for now if you have any question or query don't forget to mention in comment box if you would like to be updated with our new videos then please subscribe the channel thank you very much for watching